Welcome to another suitably delicious Atari title, courtesy the Systema TV Boy Unlicensed 2600 clone. Today's main course is Plaque Attack, or as Systema are intent on calling it, the Dentist. Basically, it's just another space shooter, but this time it has a dental theme. You control that tube of toothpaste you just saw squeezing up there, and you have to shoot the various items of food which appear from the side of the screen. And I don't know what those pieces of food are supposed to be. Perhaps they're mini burgers or... ah, who knows? The point is that toothpaste kills food, and anybody who's brushed their teeth before they have the tea will know exactly what I'm talking about. Your main goal is to defend these giant's teeth. Oh, what on earth are those things? Cassettes with her? Jeez, turnips? Anyway, when the food reaches the teeth, it rots them away. It's something of a loose interpretation of cleaning one's teeth, but then again, this is Atari, and everybody's obsessed with shoot 'em ups and I don't think Teeth Cleaning Simulator 1982 would have made for a very interesting game title. Activision sat down and thought, well, we've got yet another space shooter here. How can we make it sell more copies? I know, we'll make it edutainment based, which means we can sell it to schools and market it to parents as the sort of game that they'd want their child playing. What an excellent idea! Except, why would you want to go around wasting toothpaste on food that you haven't even put in your mouth yet? Ooh, cherries! I like those! You can fire your tube upwards and downwards, but not sideways, even though you can move in those directions. To add to the challenge, you have to shoot a certain number of food items before your toothpaste runs out! You can get replacement teeth, as you just saw pop into my mouth there. However, I disagree with this, because you'll get kids ripping their teeth out in the hopes that they can get more every 4,000 points. I'm sorry Activision, if you're gonna play the educational card, you've gotta at least get it right. Actually, hold on a minute. This isn't Activision. This is... Stick of Rock Division by the looks of things. Conspicuous in its absence is the Activision credit, which you should see at the bottom of the screen. However, Systema have made a concerted effort to blank out the name, presumably to pretend that they programmed this game all by themselves, and come to think of it, they did it with all the games, so they wanted to claim credit for every single one of them, including Clone Downtown, which I don't think anybody would want to claim these days. With that wave of candy canes out of the way, it's time to move on. And next, we have the ice cream cones of DEATH! Yes, miniature Neapolitan ice creams have been the downfall of many a man. Or at least, a giant's tooth. And as you can see now, I am completely toothless. It's only a matter of time. No, my gums. We have gone the way of all tubes of toothpaste and faded away. But thankfully, we had a tooth in reserve. Yes, it's like having false teeth. However, these burgers are twice as deadly. This looks like a job for razor sharp Atari reactions, which is sadly something that I haven't got. And look at them there, rotting away my gums. Get out of it! Well, my teeth are starting to itch. Or at least, they would if I had any left. Whatever the case, I shall see you again for more food-related fun and frolics courtesy the TV Boy.